Thank you for staying with us. It's now time for the sports news with Tennis in Glasgow. In tonight's sports news, Kipchoge and Muhammad name Apis of the Year, Laverne Spencer gets top UK full-time coach, and in domestic football, RYO crowned. We start off tonight's Sports of Athletics. Iliud Kipchoge and Dalila Muhammad have been named World Athletes Male and Female Athletes of the Year. Kenya's Kipchoge, 35, won the London Marathon for a fourth time in April before becoming the first athlete to run a marathon in under two hours. The Kenyan Olympic champion clocked one hour, 59 minutes and 40 seconds over the 26.2 miles distance, though the record is unofficial because he used rotating pacemakers. Mohamed, meanwhile, broke her own world mark of 52.16 seconds in winning her speciality 400-meter hurdles at the World Championships in Doha in October. In more athletics news, Dennis Doyle, the World Athletics Level 5 and UKA Level 4 coach and international speaker on high jump, will be Levin Spencer's full-time coach as the 2016 Olympic finalist targets a strong performance at the Tokyo 2020 edition of the Olympics. Spencer, a two-time Pan Am Games champion and Commonwealth Games gold medalist, will be 36 years old when the Games roll around between 24th of July and the 9th of August. Laverne figures to be in good hands with Doyle, who has produced four Olympians and over 30 international athletes, and has coached with British, Irish and Indian teams at four Olympics and six World Championships. He has been an England Athletics National Coach and Mentor since 2009. For the Caribbean champion, it's about trying a new tack as she nears an inevitable end to her illustrious career. We move on to cricket. England were crushed by New Zealand as the Taurus lost the first test by an innings and 65 runs at the Bay Oval. Resuming on 55 for free, England needed to bat through the day to save the test but were bowled out for 197 with 21.4 overs remaining at Mount Wanganui. Joe Denley made 35 from 142 balls and Ben Stokes 28 from 84 but no batsman could produce a defining innings. Pace bowler Neil Wagner took a Super Bowl 5 for 44 and Michelle Sartner 5 for 53 as the Black Caps secured a 1-0 series lead. The second and final test is on Thursday. We move on to tennis now. Rafael Nadal clinched an emotional Davis Cup victory for Spain over Canada when he beat Denis Shapovalov in front of a jubilant home crowd in Madrid. His 6-3, 7-6 win sealed the title with Roberto Batista Agut returning to the team three days after his father's death to put the host 1-0 up. Batista Agut was in tears after beating 19-year-old Felix Auger Alisim 7-6, 6-3 in the opener. Nadal's win gave Spain an unassailable 2-0 lead and a 6th Davis Cup title. Veterans football now, match day 7 and 8 were completed over the weekend in the Veteran in Sports Inc. 2019-2020 season. On Saturday, 23rd November, Ansari and VSCDC shed the spoils with a 1-0 draw. All Blacks of Denry and Flo Lancers FC also shared the spoils with a nail-all draw, while Scarica Masters proved their wolf with a disciplined performance outdoing V4 North 2-0. On Sunday, 24th November, in a major upset, Canaries defeated reigning League Gold Cup champions Miku, two goals to one, and in another upset, Monipo Sharks defeated top team Labowi Connections 2-0. Match Day 8 was capped off with Gozili runaway winners over Schwazel, five goals to two. Finally, youth football on Sunday, November 24th, the Mabia Valley Football League drew the curtains on the 2019 domestic season with the third place playoff and finals of the GK Insurance Mabia Valley and the 19th football tournament in a very entertaining style. In the third place playoff contested between Chester's Sports Club and Survivors FC, Survivors FC defeated Chester's Sports Club three goals to nil and captured the third place honours. Meanwhile, in the finals, Rovers United battled Richmond, youth organisation RYO, and left it late till the 82nd minute in what was a keenly contested encounter to edge Rovers United 1 0 and capture their first GK Insurance Mabia Valley youth title. Rovers United falling short once again, having lost last year's finals to Togetherness Youth. That's how we end tonight's sports.